Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. Okay, so let me tell you how amazing and dope and just phenomenal the universe is, right? So earlier today, I had went to Walgreens to put money on my charm card so I can purchase um, this book. It's called um, Contract Law for Dummies, right? I had went out yesterday to purchase the book from Barnes and Nobles. However, they didn't have it. Okay. So today I said, you know what? I'm going to order a book from Amazon. So I ordered the book, right? And on my way to going to Barnes and Nobles, I was listening to somebody on YouTube, a guy on YouTube who, um, like the knowledge and everything he gives is is so impeccable and is use of L, right? And it's so funny because when I came into this space pertaining to consumer law, you know, I was thinking, I was like, damn, I don't know nobody who really talks about the laws of the universe and, you know, energy and everything like that. Yeah, it's people in this space um, pertaining to consumer law and stuff like that. But he's like one of the people that... Um, I was so excited that I came upon his channel. Okay. Yusuf L. Okay. He has a channel on YouTube. Um, it's called high frequency radio. Right. And, um, so I was listening, I was, you know, walking and then coming back from Walgreens, he was talking about when he was about, I think 19 years old, how he read um, Think and Grow Rich, right, by Napoleon Hill. He said he had to change his mindset because it was a dope boy that was in his neighborhood, a guy who sold drugs, <laughs> that was in his neighborhood. And a guy, he was making like $20,000 a week. And Yusuf L was saying pretty much like how he was like, damn, you know, he was like really impressed by the guy. And he was like, if he could just make, I think he said, um, $2,000 a week, he was like, he would be it, right? So he said, after he started reading these books and stuff like that, he was like, he started making $5,000 a day, right? And some of the books he named was, you know, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. If you ever wonder, right? And this is one of the things that I got from Kevin Tredone was this, that is not about you working hard. The Kevin Tredon had gave a story about um uh Edison. Okay, how Edison, you know, back back way back, okay, when Napoleon Hill was, you know, um writing a book, um, 16 Laws of Success or whatever it is like that, Edison would take off on the weekends, okay, he wouldn't work on the weekends, and he would go away, I believe it was like three months or something like that, he would go away fishing and stuff like that, right, a lot of times we have been programmed that is about us working so hard, and then when you see have you have worked so hard, and you done sacrificed, you see that, you know, it's like, damn, why I don't see my results, the reason being is because if you come in and with a scarcity mindset, a mindset of I have to work so hard, a mindset of I got to sacrifice and not saying that you won't be able to manifest those things. But I sure believe that it would be a more pleasurable um, journey as opposed of, you know, you just sacrificing your life and stuff like that. And not only that, when you are in a clear in the happy, joyful, blissful mindset, you are able to attract quicker. And the reason being is because we all know you attract based upon your energy vibration frequency. Okay. And so if you are excited about life and looking forward to life and still enjoying your life, okay, you will be able to manifest those things quicker. So let me get back to the story. So I'm walking to, you know, um, coming back from Walgreens, coming back home, right? And um, Yusuf L, he's talking about, you know, the books that he read. Now, I have um, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, although, and I encourage you guys to really get this book, okay? Th this book, it is such a phenomenal read. I mean, I was reading The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Wallers. 
and my whole energy and everything is shifted. Like it is shifted. I, I start feeling really, really amazing because, you know, it's really about what we, what we read, what we listen to. Okay. And those are the things that is going to change our energy vibration frequency. So I encourage you guys, I believe this book is like $26 or something like that. Okay. Honey, you, you going to spend $26 on something that's not even going to give you anything back in return. Okay. You, you're going to spend $26 on what some weed, you know, some cigarettes or whatever it is like that, some liquor. And, and, you know, it's like you chasing something outside your existence. But the thing that you chase, chasing is, is just going to always have you feeling that, you know, it's something else that's missing. But when you start doing the work on yourself, honey, I can guarantee you, your life is going to change. And that's why I started buying books. You know, I never thought that I'd be, you know, that person that's recommending books and stuff like that. But the truth of the matter is, you know, in order for my life to have been getting better, I had to do some things that was completely different, you know, different from the average Joe. OK, and so this is how dope the universe is. You know, I'm walking and I hear, you know, Yusuf L from High Frequency Radio, a YouTuber. OK, talks about um and he talked about consumer law too you know that that's why i was like really intrigued um you know with his studies and stuff because i'm like damn you know he he's the person that and it's funny because i deleted his i deleted i unsubscribed for him and then it was something that was like no go back go back okay and then i subscribe back to his channel but he's such a phenomenal brother i don't know him personally okay but he's so so phenomenal when it comes to the information and stuff like that and about energy and stuff. And it's so funny because the other day I was in the shower and I'm listening to Yusuf L, you know, from on YouTube. And then he talks about Kevin Trudeau. I'm like, what the fuck? Right? Because I, it's funny because I put in Yusuf L comments on YouTube like, oh, have you heard of the Kevin Trudeau? And then yesterday I'm in the shower. He's like, oh, yeah, just like Kevin Trudeau, you know, he has, um, you know, he has this thing called, um, your wish is your command. And I'm like, what the hell? You're talking about synchronicity and divine timing. Okay, so getting back to it. So another book that Yusuf L said that he read over and over and over and over again. And what really did it? It was, let me see, The Master Key System by Charles F. Hanel. Okay, you know what's so crazy about this? As I was walking... You know, coming back home from Walgreens, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to order that next book. You know, he talking about the master key, whatever you said, let me order, you know, this book, right? And it's so funny how the universe will already have you prepared for all the abundance that you ever desired. Here I am, I'm like, oh, I'm going to order, you know, another book. And then, you know, I was... I'm finna read um, The Science of Getting Rich, okay, by, by Wallace Wattlers. And something was like, Dina, go through this book. You know, t turn the pages and, and go through the book. And then I come upon the, the master key, okay? And I'm like, what the fuck? Right? Oh, my goodness, right? So, so listen, to the person that's out there. I want you to get so excited about your life, so excited about your life. You know why I get so excited? Because these books and from me manifesting and me actually seeing that you do not have to work so hard in order for you to manifest your desires, that is programming, okay? And that is something that the elite, elites know. They know that you don't have to work so hard. You know, if you listen to, you know, any of them, you will hear them say they do. You have to do exactly what you love to do. One of the guys who I listen to, um, um, Tracy Bryan, OK, who's a phenomenal speaker. And one of the things he's he talks about is, you know, you have to do the thing that you really enjoy doing. And then not only that, he also speaks, Tracy Brown also speaks about intuition and how listening to your intuition. You know what really did it for me with Tracy Bryant was when he told the story about, you know, how he would get fired from every job. 
how he even got fired from a gas station. He used to pump people gas. And now Tracy Bryant is a, a multimillionaire. Okay. And so my, my, my thing to you is, you know, you, you have to know that abundance is your birthright. And whenever I come across information, I am so ecstatic, so elated to give it back to you guys because you know, if, if I can change my life, I want someone out there to know that they can change their lives. Okay. You don't have to stick to this culture whiz though. It says, you know, you got to work so hard. You got to hustle and bustle. Why you think the book is called by Napoleon Hill, think and grow rich. It's not called hustle and grow rich. Okay. And the reason being is because if your mind is right, you can attract whatever it is that you truly desire. Okay. And don't put yourself on no time clock because that's really what's going to stress you out. And I used to put, you know, goals like, oh, I got to do this in six months and all this other stuff. But you have to have this nonchalant attitude. Like when it comes, it comes right. And then still enjoy your life. I remember when I first got started, you know, it, it was, it was like, oh, I know the Lord, you know, the, the law of attraction and I know it. But I really didn't know it. I, I really didn't know it. Okay. Because when, when certain things would show up and everything is about a learning experience, everything is about a learning experience. I believe that the universe challenged us. Okay. One, so we can grow. Okay. But two, also to see if we really about what we say we are. Okay. To see if we really about what we say we are. And with that being said, let me get back to read. And I love you guys. Keep rocking out, believing in yourselves. And honey, I see you at the top. In the words of Zig Ziglar, peace.